Greetings food surfers, I'm Eric Surf6 and this is Mega Bane 6200. And we are at the Dorama Game Center today. Are you ready? I'm ready to go. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna play some games? No, we're here for the food. They got vending machines inside. <laughs> Wait a minute, I like games. Oh, okay, maybe we can play some games too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna have to play some games for sure. Yeah, definitely. Oh my goodness. Oh, they got any food? I don't know. Oh, look at that, they got some snack machines. Fancy, I wonder how long it took them to set that up. Right, that's fancy, isn't it? Looks nice. It's probably impossible to get them though, right? Yeah. How about these? These are lighter, right? Those are like rice, chocolate rice snacks? Yeah, maybe easier. Okay. All right. Oh, these, so UFO catchers, they call them in Japan, but what are they? They're the claw, claw games. Yeah. Claw, what else they call them? Oh, they got Pringles. That looks absolutely impossible. <laughs> oh, I get, oh, no, you could knock it, if you knock it off, I guess, huh? Uh, interesting, huh? I don't know, it's like, you really gotta practice and know the machine, I think, right? Yeah. Like this one. Yeah, that's gonna hit it off. But, uh, I don't know. I'm really hungry. How about you? Me too. Let's go get some to eat. Let's, let's go search for these vending machines. This place is insane, man. I feel like I'm in a casino. Monopoly game. Oh, okay. So, coin games. No gambling, but you can, what? Convert for prizes, maybe? I'm not sure. Here we go. We got the vending machines. Snacks and coffee. They got Black Thunder. Oh, they got sandwiches. Sandwiches and look at that, a taco meat burrito. That looks good. Right, that's interesting, huh? Something different. What, cookies and uh, nutrition bars. Yeah, oh, here's another snack machine. Potato chips on the bottom there. We got, what, chocolate, waffles, Pringles. There's a yakisoba pan right there. A spaghetti sandwich, yo, for 170. Uh huh. Standard drinks. 17 ice, and they've got the orange juice, freshly squeezed orange juice from the oranges right there. Yeah, we've done this one before. It's good, right? It's, it's yeah. really good. But I think there's also supposed to be like a gyudon machine somewhere, yeah. like a, a beef over rice machine. Where's that it's at? Somewhere. Oh, here we go. This is it, huh? The beef bowl machine. It already smells like gyudon. Oh, right? It's yeah. fresh. You can smell it. I think they just stocked the machine, maybe. Oh, that looks good. Thinly grilled, sliced, thinly sliced grilled meat. Oh, it's Matsuya. It's their famous brand. So there's what, four types? The Kyumeshi, and then the Kyukarabi, right, which is short rib. And Uma, what does that say? Uma kara Kyuyakini. Okay, so spicy. And that's a hamburger, that's a cheeseburger. <laughs> so, which one are you gonna get, Mega? I want this one. Spicy. Oh, yeah. All right, 450. And what number is it? 15. Okay. It's 
takes a while, huh? Yeah. All right, is it hot? Is it cold? It's cold. It's cold? Okay. That's what this is for, huh? So you heat it up for how long? One minute, one and a half minutes. Okay, a minute and a half. Do they have the Karubi? Yeah, there's the Karubi, number 33. of a giant casino. <laughs> That's what it feels like inside here. But there's actually no gambling that takes place. They've got the coin games, and then they've got the sort of game center part, uh, what do you call it, like the UFO catchers, the crane games. Yeah. So we're going to play some of the crane games after the ones that have got food items. <laughs> so we can try to maybe do some snack reviews for you, if we're lucky. If we're not lucky, we'll just play the games and get out of here. <laughs> All right, you going spoon or you going chopsticks? Spoon. Spoon. All right, I'll go chopsticks. All right. Oh, I see, so you can, it comes in two different compartments. Let's show this, I didn't realize that that the, the rice and the meat are separate, huh? You lift it out like that. Oh, I'm just gonna taste the meat by itself. First, Me and then put it on the rice. Mm. Mm. That is tasty. How's yours? Very tasty. Tasty, right? 450 yen for his, 400 yen for mine. It's like yakiniku. Yeah, can eat, can eh? Like barbecue at your table. Okay. Look at those juices right there. Oh yeah, Korean style, short ribs. You don't get a lot of meat, but hey, you know, this is price for this is about three dollars maybe 350 for his not much it's cheap yeah so you just have two or three of them if you're really hungry mm. go 
was good with the rice, yeah? Yeah. Mm. It's got the grilled onions on it. Mine's nice and tangy. How's the spice level here? It's perfect. Perfect? Yeah. So it is a bit spicy? A little bit. Really flavorful. I bet they don't make much money on these. If you come in here and it's more of a service to eat this stuff for cheap, and then you're going to play their games and spend money. That's how it goes. Yeah. So we've decided that we're going to spend a thousand yen each on the crane games or UFO catchers. So that's what. $10. We get 10 tries each. And we'll see if we can come up with any snacks to review for you guys. What's that? Show you? Oh, grape juice. <laughs> <laughs> Energy drinks. I mean, that's got to be impossible. How are you going to lift that out? This thousand yen each, a little less than 10 bucks. This will take the money, huh? Okay, I guess we won't be doing any gambling then, huh? Let's try another machine. The, this one's right. That's out of order too, huh? Yeah. Do any of these work? Loaded up and ready to go. What's first? Are we gonna go for something that we really want to eat, or are we gonna go for something that looks like it's easy to catch? Maybe a little of both, huh? Yeah, both. A little of both. Right? I mean, like the cheapest stuff's gotta be the easiest to get, right? That's sort of my idea, right? <laughs> Right, it costs 100 yen to do it, so what, a little, little less than a buck? So these big items gotta be hard, right? Yeah. We have little to no experience at doing these machines, right? Yeah. I mean, I've done them in my life maybe three or four times. That's it. Never for more than a dollar or two. See, that's a lot of stuff right there. All right, I'm gonna try for these Danish butter cookies. I just like the presentation, the stack. Just go for it. All right, here we go. Oh boy. I'm gonna go for the far one. Oh yeah, come to Papa. Come to Papa. Try? No. <laughs> <laughs> this looks really, really hard to me. How are you gonna, with that claw right there, how are you gonna, well, we'll see. Maybe you just knock it off. Yeah, maybe. If you can just bump it, but then it's gonna go into the side of the machine. I don't know. Try it. We're not here to gamble, we're here to experiment. That's right. What does that mean? Does that mean you win? No. I don't know. I guess you could you could bash this glass <laughs> around and probably win it pretty easy. <laughs> but I think that would tip, that would be cheating, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It says don't touch the glass or you lose. It's a plunger type of deal, so you you have to hammer right in the center of the snacks there, and, and you get it 
looks pretty easy. To punch it, you got to be right in the middle, huh? Let's do that again. Go for the pink one. That's centered perfect this time. And there. Oh! Missed it by, missed it by that much. Yeah. So close. Last, if I missed it by that much. Last and final try. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I got it, but I already put my money in for the next try, so. <laughs> I'm gonna try that purple one right there, or this, this white one right in, see if it's tucked in already, you don't have to hit it as hard. The white one right in front there, let's try that. Too, too far to the right, huh? Yeah. Okay. So this 50 cents worth of cookies here cost me $3. Yeah. <laughs> You're up. I'm gonna try this one. Good choice. I like this one because whoever set up this spent a long time. That must have taken a half hour to set up. I can appreciate that. And this one too, this is kind of pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Good luck. So basically you're going left and right and then you're going back and forth. So you go left and right followed by forward and backward. Some. You got some, huh? You got some. So there's there's one you almost got, but you actually did get one. You got two. I got two. In one try. Nice going. Is that worth a dollar? Probably so. Nice. All right. Then I guess I'll do this one. Come on, baby. These are really light, right? The rice snacks. They're light. Oh, yeah! I got one. Got one. That's a huge door. Look at that. I mean, there's a, enough room for 100 of them in here. <laughs> All right. So what's that? About 30 yen worth of prize for a dollar? Yeah. So this one, you get three tries for 100 yen. It was, I had no idea, and she came over and said, hey, you, you still got credits on the machine, so thanks to the staff. All right, so back to the white one in front there. Gotcha, right on. <laughs> Well, I don't know if I'm hungry enough to eat all this stuff. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see, next one is, uh, I don't know, which one? That, that one out the back there. Actually, the, the ones that are closer are easier to see. Go this one right in front here. Close. 
I gonna eat all this? <laughs> Still got three tries. You do it, Mega. Okay. Three tries? Three tries. Go for what the ones in the front are the easiest to see. You know what I mean? Because it's like close. If you go back to the. I'm gonna try this one. Okay. Two tries left. I think you got it. Oh, oh that looks perfect to me. I just missed it. Oh, but look, you can get it. You got one more try. You can you can get it. It's pretty hard. Oh, uh, dude, come on, you can get it. Okay. You can get it. Okay, last try, you gotta get it. favorite snacks right here they're called umai bows they come in all different flavors you get 30 in a pack so this is probably going to be a pretty hard one to win i would think but i also put them in the get some snack packs so they're eric surf six approved for the snack packs they're that good so this is the doraemon what flavor is that do you know does it say it's tonkatsu sauce. Tonkatsu sauce, all right. Coming up. Coming up. Well, that was a waste of time. Um, I guess you got to go not for the middle, but uh, the front or the back is better. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Up, we got Haribo Gumi snacks. Meg is gonna go for this one, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Good luck. These things look heavy. But you can bounce it off the ball, maybe? It's interesting looking. Which one are you going for? None of them. <laughs> this one? I like the rubber on the claw, it's good. Oh, beautiful, right in the middle, Zippo. <laughs> Couldn't have been any worse. <laughs> Honey ball. Man, everybody loves Honey ball. It's gotta be hard. How about this, this looks really easy. They're just light potato chips, right? Yeah. Do that one. Potato chips, right? A cheese something. Oh, they're different flavors. Usu aji, that's fish flavored right there. This one's cheese flavored. Yeah, can I go for one of the, one of the ones in the middle, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right. You got it, you got it, dude. You totally got it. Yeah. Come on, come on. Oh! 
I'll do that. I'll do that. <laughs> Same one. You, I got you. Come to Papa. Come to, uh, come to nobody. <laughs> okay, look at this one. It's in a freezer. I like it, huh? We've got some sundaes over on this side. And what's that, a rice burger? Yakiniku rice burger? Frozen. But... They got a microwave right here. Oh, how awesome is that? Okay, how much you got left? I've only got 100 left. How much you got? I got 600. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm spending my money first. I'll show you how it's done. Okay. Because I have no idea. <laughs> Ready? Go down. Down you go. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> I don't know. That's like it's a rickety crane system. I don't know. There's 50 seconds left. Oh, so, so you, can, you, no, you could go around the side and look at it if you want. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I don't know, it seems like for this one, you gotta be right on the money. It's just so flimsy how it drops down. Yeah. yeah. It's got high freezer costs. High <laughs> electricity costs for the freezer. That's what's going on. And this would be hard too. That's gotta be the same weight for yeah. the Sundays. Yeah. Too hard. Hey, speaking of frozen things, look at this. I got Godiva. So this thing is going to go down and scoop it out like, right? It looks like it goes like that. Yeah. Scoops it. So you push the button when you're ready. It's tough. So you got to get it in the scoop, and if it's in the, then it will drop it. Oh. Yeah. So you have, you have to scoop it up. That looks tough, huh? That's tough. Because it just pushes it up the wall. Okay. What's next? Cup of noodle. Cup of noodle tower. You have to sub it at the L. Just about it. Oh, and then the and then the yellow part, the support drops out. Yeah, one of them drops out. I'll try it. Yeah, might as well just to see how it works, huh? It looks tough. Whoa! Makes a lot of noise. That's no good. 
so it's a 50-50 chance that you get that one of these is going to drop out. Well, you got to try again. Yeah. 50-50, right? Come on, Mega, get us some. Do some ramen. Yes. Well, <laughs> should we shake the machine? Oh, but it stays punched out, though, doesn't it? Ah, so if you do this over and over and over again, you could get all of them. But you might be here for a while. Because 100 yen, basically, is what... These are actually worth less than 100 yen, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> but but you could get more than one. You could get yeah. the whole stack, I guess, if, if you're really into cup ramen. Are we into that cup... Are we into cup ramen that much? No. No. <laughs> But it was fun to try. Okay, this machine's got the Country Ma'am cookies. We like these, actually. These go in to get some snack packs sometimes. Yeah, these are good. Let me give it a go. Okay. Going on. Oh. Do so, you know there's like rubber stoppers on those bars, right? You can see the rubber on there, and that's gonna make them stick. But dang, dude, you knocked down all four of them. That's close. Close enough to try again? Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Okay. So the question is, do we eat these here or do we take them home? Take them home. All right. I'm going to see if I can find some more foods vending machines and we'll have a dinner as well too. We'll have dinner and then we'll eat the snacks. Check it out. We've got rice vending machines. This is rare. You see them in the countryside sometimes, but look at it, man. It's, it's definitely old school type of machinery here, huh? So eight different kinds. Umai, umai. They all say umai, umai. That means delicious, delicious. Uh huh. Interesting. Then it comes out down there on the bottom. Okay. So it says 10 kilograms here, but they're selling 5 kilogram bags, it looks like. They're all fives. Okay, so number one through eight, what's it gonna be? Gotta go with number six, don't we? Let's see, what's in number six? Umai, umai. Yeah, where's the button? It's over on the main console. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Money going in. Oh, it talks to you. It said, welcome. Okay. Number six, baby. To change. Listen to it. You pull the drawer out. This thing is heavy. Like a safety deposit box with gold coins in it or something. It is, huh? All right. Yep. So that's five kilos for 1,780 yen. Thank you, speaker lady. Thank you, thank you. All right. We're traveling by bike here, so we'll, uh, we'll use the saddlebags. That should work. Yeah. Says Aji Y-E. Umai Umai. <laughs> Fit? Yes, it does. Oh, look at 
looks like a curry vending machine. They got butter chicken curry, kima curry, and a mini cheese naan. Oh, first I ever seen that, huh? Yeah, we got the kima lamb curry, chicken butter curry. That's the that's the famous one, the butter chicken. Everybody loves that. Ooh, there's a chicken kebab in here. Well, let's start out at the top here. The chicken pakora, nine pieces. Looks good, looks good. Number two. the view it's green just like the building here it's green yeah okay all right this place is so popular the bus even stops here huh check it out it's a bus stop for this machine yeah okay uh, next up, so it's either the butter chicken curry or the kima. Since we just bought chicken, let's do the kima curry or the lamb. This one. Yeah, for 700. Gonna spend some of this change. Number five. Boom, a thump. It's a heavy one. So 180 grams times two packs. Okay, so it's just a curry, so you're gonna add rice to this. All good, or the naan, actually. We're gonna eat it with naan, that's what we're gonna do. We don't need any rice. Cheese naan is up next. Get two pieces for 700, all right. Five, six, 700, number seven. Yeah, two of them. No, they're pretty thin. How much cheese is gonna be in there, huh? Maybe not that much. We'll see, we'll find out. Okay. And last item, coming down to the bottom here, we've got chicken kebabs that look like waffles, huh? It's got, wow, oh, it looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, cheese kebab. Okay, 1,000 yen. Do number 10. What are we waiting around for? Let's eat. What are we waiting around for? Let's eat. We got some raw lotus root. Maybe we're gonna cook this later. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Let's start with some drinks, shall we? There you go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, I just spilled it all over my pants. <laughs> all right. So we've got a bunch of Indian food here from vending machine. How about that? It looks really nice, doesn't it? It smells really good. Yeah, a couple different kinds of chicken, uh, some curry, and some naan and some rice. All from a vending machine. Yeah. <laughs> and a couple items we got at the supermarket as well, too. Plus the snacks that we got from the crane games. We didn't really get many snacks, did we? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So where would you like to start? The chicken pakoda. All right. And apparently chicken pakoda has ginger. It's got, what, garlic and... Numerous other spices. It's Indian. Let's just try the meat by itself first. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Mm. It tastes like it's freshly cut right off of the, you know, the big spindle. Yeah. Right on the street. It's nice and smoky. Right? You taste the smokiness? It's smoky. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have a bite of the uh the cheese naan. Mm-hmm. Oh, they go together nicely. It's like a kiss of the year. Oh. <laughs> I know. And that's a lot of meat that you get. Right? That that's is a, a good portion of meat. Right? So typically kebabs, as they're sold in Japan, you, you get them inside like a pita, right? A pocket type of bread and put it inside with some, what, you see cabbage and then some spicy sauce. Yeah. But it's marinated just fine. Okay. Let's try the uh, curry, shall we? All right. And we've both got curry setups here. He likes the cheese naan that tastes like quesadilla. <laughs> Oh, mm. lovely flavor, this kima curry. Right, kima, it's lamb meat. Minced lamb. Let's add in some of the rice, the shonan rice. Five kilos for, what was it? Even came with the receipt from the vending machine, like 1,750 yen, 1,780, I think it was. So for five kilos. Fair. Yeah. Oh, I really like Kima curry. Mm. Not too spicy, but nice flavor. Do you like it with rice better? Or do you like it with the naan? I like it with the rice. Really? I think I like it better with the naan. But they're both good. Yeah. Both of them. So this is the dragon fruit. Have you seen this before? Yeah. Had it before? Yeah. Do you remember what it tastes like? Nothing. Do you remember how to peel it? I don't. I think you just go right in, right? Yeah. Okay. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh, it's a, it's a purple one. I thought it was going to be the white one. The purple ones are much... More beautiful. Oh, we're lucky. I think the purple ones have more flavor. Beautiful looking fruit. See the little black seeds, which are totally edible. Ready? I'm just gonna just bite it. Oh. So you said they it tastes like nothing the last time you had it, but the purple one's different. It's sweeter, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. But it still almost tastes like nothing. It's watery. It's watery, yeah. Kind of like watermelon. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's juicy. But I like it. It's nice, right? It's different than watermelon, but... Yeah, it's 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 a mellow taste, but it's supposed to be really good for you. Correction: We ate the kebab meat first. That's what this is, not the pakora. Pakora is next. This is the pakora, the garlic, and the ginger and spices. This is the pakora. Okay, sorry about that. Got mixed up with two chicken dishes. Is this, is this two pieces or one? It's hard That's to tell. One, I guess. Mmm. This is a softer chicken. Right? Yeah. Nice flavor. Mm-hmm. What am I tasting? Some interesting spices. Right? The spices are different. Yeah. The this the kebab is, is a barbecue. It's more smoky. All right. And it's a tougher meat, but it's good. This has got more flavor, right? Yeah. Stronger. But it would be nice to have that in like a 
sandwich, right? Yeah. You could put it on on bread or something. You could put it on the cheese naan, and it would work pretty well, I think. Let's try some curry. <clears throat> a little bit of curry, a little bit of kebab, mix and match. See how that is. You with me? Okay. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Definitely good with the bread. I just like the spices of, of Indian food. Right? Totally different from Japanese fried chicken from typical karaage. Yeah, right? it's different. Mm -hmm. So today for cool stuff, we've already done cool stuff, haven't we? We did. The UFO catchers. Oh my gosh, those crane games were a blast. <laughs> a lot of fun. And let's show everything we've got here. <clears throat> it's not much. <laughs> it ain't much. So 2,000 yen. We got a total of six items. That's it. That's all it is. It's probably, what, $2, $3 worth of candy? Yeah. Maybe $3 worth of candy? And we spent, what, $15? But the entertainment value of it, it was a good time. That was fun. And they've got so many machines in there. Goodness, that place is huge. But the main reason we went there was to do the gyudon, right? Yeah. The Matsuya gyudon, which was excellent. Very, very well priced. It was cheap. So, yeah, it was a good time. Doing something different for a change. So here it is. This Rencon has been cut up and made into a simmered... Sort of, what do you call it? Nimono dish. So there it is. And there's some shiitake mushrooms in here, some carrots, a little bit of meat. But yeah, it's a pretty standard dish in Japan. Going in for the Renkon Nimono. It's so fresh. It's like we plucked it right out of the ground. You can tell, right? It's, it's, got, a, it's, fresh. it's got a nice crunch. Mm. It's time to show off our goods from the UFO catcher. We're going to eat these goods. And the UFO catcher or the crane games, we chose to do all the food ones so that we could have some kind of dessert foods. But there's other types too, right? Lots of different things that you could try for. Yeah. Stuffed animals and what was there? Like electronic stuff. There was like all kinds of like gadgets character goods, things like that. So, would you think we'd ever do the UFO catcher game again? We might be. Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> we learned which ones of them are easier and which ones are harder. So basically, if you're going for a big expensive item, <laughs> you ain't gonna get it unless you <laughs> really know what you're doing. But the smaller items, definitely possible. Yeah, for the rookies like us, fun. So where do you want to start with chips? Let's do the salty yeah. first and then the sweeter. So this is called Pucci. Pucci means what? Mini? Yeah. So mini pretzels. And they come... Packaging's kind of interesting, isn't it? Oops. Got a little bit of breakage. That's what it looks like. Well, pretzels on a little tray. Whoa, these are good. Mm. Like butter pretzels. More like crackers. Yeah. They're delicious. Wow. You know, standard pretzels are typically dry, right? But these aren't. These are these are good. These are really good. Yeah. I'm gonna have to remember that. The package. You could just about put those in the snack packs, except they'd probably wind up getting all busted. <laughs> right? I mean, some of these are busted, right? And that was just on the car ride home. Or from the machine. It was like a it was going like yeah, this. The was... machine was going boom, boom, boom. <laughs> that probably busted them up, huh? The strawberry biscuits. Okay. Strawberry biscuits, eh? Get little designs on them, huh? All right.
They smell really good. Okay. <laughs> so the uh, the strawberry is the cream in the inside. Got this going on. There's the strawberry right there, the filling. Mm-hmm. These are tasty. These are good. Right? Same company, Pucci, right? Yeah. Okay. So this one is white chocolate. We're both lovers of white chocolate, aren't we? Yeah. So yeah, same size as the strawberry cookies. These bad boys. Ooh, these are really soft. Not really tasting white chocolate. I like the texture though. Yeah, it's really, really soft. Melts. Yeah. As soon as you, a little bit of crunch in the beginning. Mmm. All three of them are good. Okay, so out of the three, which, which do you like the best? I like the white chocolate. White chocolate. Yeah. I'm gonna say I like the pretzels. I like the pretzels the best. Okay, fair enough. In a break? Yeah. Okay, so this is a giant, looks like a chocolate bar, but what? Is it rice on the inside? Do we know what that is? It's not a chocolate bar. It's really super light. So maybe it's rice, maybe it's not. We'll let you know. What is that? It's like hollow on the inside almost. It looks like honeycomb. It's a rice snack. It's yeah. puffy. Nice though. It melts in your mouth. Good. Yeah. Good. But really light. Not doesn't have the weight of a candy bar. My chocolate's alright. Okay. And what else? You won these. So two types of what are these? It's just chocolate balls, huh? Yeah. Did you have these when you were a kid? I, I've, I've seen these around for a long time in Japan. Yeah, I have these. Okay. So this, the ones I have, these are the caramel ones. What kind do you got? I got mochi flavored ones. Mochi flavored. Mochi. Japanese mochi. Hinako mochi. Okay, so there you go. Balls. Do they look the same? Oh, they look different. I guess I should show those too. Mmm. Oh. These are soft. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. chewy. Chewy, yeah. I initially thought they were peanuts. It's like taffy. Mmm. Interesting. All right, swap. Oh, I see what you mean. That's really chewy. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, those are softer. It's got pounded rice in it. But a soft candy, like chocolate on the outside, the white chocolate. Good. Yeah. Hmm. Better than I had expected. So I think that's going to do it for this meal, isn't it? Did we attack everything? <laughs> yeah. I think we did. So kind of an interesting one today, on location for the first place, and then I went to that second vending machine's place, and there was the rice. So I think pretty well-rounded two meals we've had. Yeah, so we're gonna go one out of six of your mega heads today, Mega. I'm gonna go six. He's going full six. And why is that? What made it a six? What made it? What made it lit today? The kebab. The kebabs. Yeah. Not not the UFO catcher games. To keep, you know, earning our food. <laughs> that was fun. Having to pull it out of those machines. <laughs> it was fun. You like the kebab meat best. Yeah. 
Okay. I think the Kima curry was really good. But I'd have to agree with you. I liked the kebab meat better, the smokiness of it, um, over the pakora meat. But the pakora was uh, was lighter. Yeah. So I think I'll match you on your rating. I'll go full six as well, too. And and we got we were able to pick up the, what is it called, the dragon's fruit? What is it called? <laughs> it's dragon fruit, right? Yeah. We were able to get the purple dragon fruit, which is the rare one. The standard one is the white. That's the one that I always see in Japan. And then we were also able to pick up the lotus fruits. We hit the supermarket on the way home, and we're able to pick those things up. So pretty good all the way around. I'm going six as well, too, so we're doing a giveaway. Three of our get some snack packs. We still got any snack packs in the back room there? We do. We do. Okay, so all you guys need to do for your chance to win is put a comment down below, and we'll choose three winners and announce them in the next video. So that's it for Mega and myself. You guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> that's it. See y'all later. <laughs> that's all we got today. See y'all later. That's all we got today. See y'all later. And don't forget to get some.